Hello, welcome to your standing only bar workout. So this workout is for any time you just don't feel like you wanna get down on the floor and use the mat for your workout. It's all standing, you get a full body workout. It's an express workout, so it's not super long. It's good to squeeze into your day. You could even do it at your desk if you have a set of weights or something to use as a set of weights. That's all we're gonna be using is a set of weights and a waist high surface like a chair. So let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna feel blissful after this workout. So take your feet, externally rotate the toes, bring the heels together, and let's just take a big deep inhale, taking the arms overhead, nice soft elbows, and exhale, round through the belly, or through the low back rather, and then inhale, lifting the rib cage up, Finding a little bit of extension here through the upper back and exhale. Rounding, good. One more, inhale, lift. Drop those shoulders down the back, exhale and round. Good, coming back to a nice tall posture, nice soft elbows, we're gonna come into a releve and lower. Feet still, rotate, externally rotated here. Shoulders sliding down that back. Good work. And lift and lower. Roll through those feet. Nice soft arms for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. On one, hold your releve. Open the arms and close and open and close, you're still on a releve here, turning on that core to hold you up. For six, five, it's okay to feel unsteady. Last three, I do. Two, and one, turn those palms up, lower the heels down, little pulses up with the arms for 10, nine, eight, soft elbows, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now step it out wide, feet still externally rotated, glide down your imaginary wall. So we're in a second position, pressing the inner thighs over the big and second toe here. We're gonna side stretch to the right and center. Stay on the right, right and center. Keep that plie down. Good, warming up those obliques and pull. Good, over and pull. Woo. And pull, good work. For three, two, and one. Center and lift, eight plies here. Good, seven, six, five. Press those inner thighs out. Good work for three, two, on one, hold it low, stretch to the left and pull. Left and pull, good work. Left, pull it in, inhale, exhale. Sink it one more inch down. Four, three, two, and one. Come center, hold your plie, arms come out. Press backs from the shoulders, little taps. Down, little pulse of the legs, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come up, good work. Grab one of your weights, so I lied, you really only need one weight at a time. You're gonna come to, with your left hip towards the chair. <clears throat> so externally rotate those toes. We're gonna take our weight to mirror our leg. So the weight is gonna come down by your side. You're gonna take your right leg out in front of you. Little lift, back out, little lift, and all the way in. So it's out, in front, little lift with the arm and the leg to the side, little lift. Good, bring it in, out to the front. Lift from the shoulder, out to the side, lift. Really lifting up out of that standing leg. So our left leg is holding us up, out. 
lift out and lift it up good work bring it in two more out forward lift lower out to the side lift good job bring it in last one out forward lift good lift it up feeling that glute warming up pulling it in good from here we're going to step out into second position so taking that weight we're going to take it across our body so starting with your weight towards your left hip step out pull it across bring it in pull it across bring it in so it starts at your left hip and ends up shoulder height working the back of that shoulder really plug that right shoulder in down pull it in and down and pull it in good work down and pull six five four three two and one hold it down little pulse here with the legs down eight seven six five hold the arm for four three two one hold that plea down little taps back eight seven six five four three two one bring everything back in we're going to take our right leg back now and curtsy with an overhead reach so it's curtsy reach tap pull the arm in reach it over and tap good so you're curtsying stretching through those right obliques pull contract those right obliques down and pull it in and down and pull and tap down and pull good job lower and lift and lift good work lift it up for four three two and one tap hold that leg back hold little side body stretch over pull it in hold that curtsy or balance yourself use your chair if you need it reach and pull and pull good job and pull last three three two and one come on up good job shake out that left leg it's been holding you up this whole time here really focused on that left leg we're going to come into first position so externally rotate those feet squeeze those heels together we're nice and tall here so if you're looking at me from the side i'm not pitched forward and i'm not tucking my bum underneath me nice and tall you're going to take your arm to your shoulder height we're going to plie down our wall use your chair if you need it and press that weight towards the sky down and press down and press good work down and press lower and press good job lift it up let that heart rate come back down a little bit really squeeze those heels make sure your knees are tracking over the big and second toe of each foot down and lift two more and lift last one and lower down that wall now hold your shoulder here little taps out with the legs tap eight seven six five four three two one hold the legs little taps with the arm for eight seven six five four three two one lower the heels and good work sink it back into a little squat here so feet legs are together nice narrow position with those inner thighs we're going to try step press lift the heels and press lift roll through those feet use your core to stabilize yourself try not to hang on to your chair for dear life lift and lower lift and lower good work eight seven six you got it five four three two 
hold up on one, hold, pulse the legs, so lower, lower heels lifted, pulse, down, hold that arm straight, elbow high, good, five, four, three, two, one, hold the legs, pulse the arm, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stand it up. Good work, we're gonna switch sides, I'm gonna move my chair over here. <laughs> All right, nice portable bar space, starting with our external rotation of our feet. Now we're gonna be moving the left leg, so our arm is mirroring the left leg. So, taking that leg out to the side, to the front, lift, little lift with the arm as well. Out to the side and lift. Really using that right side, those obliques, out. Forward, lift to the side. A little lift, bring it in, good. Out, forward, little lift to the side. Lift up out of that standing leg, bring it back in. Out, forward, lift. Good work here, bring it in, two more. Out, forward, lift to the side, lift, bring it in, good work, last one, out, forward, lift, to the side, lift, bring it in, good, now taking that weight to that right hip, we're going to step out into second position, so it's step and pull, and bring it in, step and pull, and bring it in, inner thigh squeeze, really plug that left shoulder and down the back, before you pull it across. And good. Pull it across. And bring it in. And pull. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it out. Hold. Just hold it here. Little pulse. Back with the arm. Back back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stand it up, good job. Moving into our curtsy, this side. So we're gonna curtsy it back with the overhead reach and a leg tap with an arm pull. So it's curtsy, overhead reach, pull, tap that left leg out, curtsy, and tap. Curtsy and pull using those abs. Just because you're standing doesn't mean you can't get a good core workout. If you move your body with intention and not momentum, you will get a core workout. Lower and lift. Stay active through that pointing toe. Lift it up. Good. And lift. Good job. Down. And lift. Three more. Lower and lift. Two. And one. Good. Find your way down to your curtsy. You're going to overhead reach and pull it in. Reach and pull. Use your surface if you need it. And pull. Good job. Reach and pull. And reach and pull. Good work. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Stand it up. Shake it out. Okay, from here, back into first position. So click those heels together. Come into your releve. Really squeeze the heels together. Elbow right in line with your left shoulder. I'm gonna drop it down that wall. Punch that ceiling out. Good. Keeping that elbow at 90 degrees. Down. Squeeze those heels and lift. Every time you lift up, squeeze those inner thighs. Get into those low abs. Check your posture out. Make sure you're moving in a way that honors your alignment. Down and lift. Down and lift. Good job. And lift. Two more. Last one. Hold it low. Hold. Fan the knees. Press out. Tap out. Hold the arm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold the legs, punch, little punch, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and good job. Release out of that, sinking it back into your narrow squat. So my legs are nice and close together. I'm gonna glue that elbow in towards my side, lift the heels and the arm at the same time, lift, lower down, lift, lower down, good work, lift, lower, lift, lower, good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold up on one, pulse the legs back, arm is long, back, back, good work, good, feel the backs of the legs for six, five, four, three, two, hold the legs, lift the arm for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift it up. Good work. From here, we're gonna face our chair now. So wherever your standing surface is, we're gonna face that and we're gonna work a little bit more glutes, a little bit more core. So taking your weight, just keep it in your left hand. You're gonna find your waist high surface and step about a forearm's distance away from that waist high surface. You're gonna press into that with your right hand or lightly support yourself. Take that right foot back. Good, tap the floor and make sure your hips are rotated towards the ground. Take that left arm overhead. Now, you're gonna take the left arm down to start. So really plug that shoulder in and you're gonna lift opposite arm, opposite leg, nice and long and lower. Lift and lower, good work. Lift and lower, good. So really plug in through those abs. The hips aren't shifting at all. You're just feeling the contraction of that right glute and right behind the shoulder. We're gonna hold up in two, two, and on one, hold. Now tap out to the side with both. So the left arm goes to the left, the right leg goes to the right. Tap it out, just like a little windshield wiper. Tap, using your core to stabilize your body here. Just your arm and your leg moving. It's all about your core. For five, four, three, two, and one, and good, rest it down. Now, go ahead and you're gonna take that weight that was in your left hand behind your right knee. So we're gonna hinge it slightly. I'm gonna come down to my hands. I'm not all the way bent over. I'm gonna stay at about a 45 degree angle, still facing my hips towards my waist high surface or the floor, lowering that right knee to right behind the left, pushing it up towards the ceiling. So, flexed foot, holding onto that weight. Lowering and lifting. Good job. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Good work. And lower, lift. For five, four, three, two. Hold up on one. Can you hold it up? Can you relevate your standing leg? All right, use your abs here. If you can't go there, just hold that foot flat. Lift up on that standing leg, little taps up. Up, core, legs, everything. Lift, try not to death grip your chair. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Taking that weight from behind that leg, whew, and trading hands. So now, you're gonna start facing your chair. Left leg taps back right arm. So it's a lift and a lower and a lift and a lower. Good. Nice and controlled. Just keeping those hips facing your waist high surface, facing square towards the floor and lift. Good job. Don't get into your low back. Nice and controlled for four, for three, for two, hold up on one, little taps out, pull it in, out, pull it in, use that core, pull it in, five, four, three, two, one, good, pull it in, 
and release. All right, get ready for that glute series on that left leg. Take that weight behind your left knee, and we're gonna press up and lower, press and lower. Good work. Press and lower, press and lower. Lift, lift, good. Lift and lower. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, lift that heel, press it up. Lift, 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 press, lift. For five, four, three, two, one, and lower that leg down and release. Good job. From here, we're just gonna take that one weight, taking your feet a little bit wider than your hips, lifting that weight towards the sky. You're gonna take it over to the right, stretch, center, over to the left. Good, center, over to the right, center, over to the left. Center, so a little bit of core work here. Right, center, and left. Center, good work. Use those at least to pull you back up to standing. One more set here. Over, center, left, center. Lower that weight down. We're gonna change it up a little bit here. Last exercise before we stretch. You're gonna sink it low. Holding that plie in second position, you're gonna take that weight overhead. Stretch to the right, center, left, center, right. Pull it up, over, and pull. Three, good. Two, and one. Center, good. Round that spine and drop that weight, standing it up, roll those shoulders, out of your ears and let's just stretch it out a little bit here so take those palms behind your back open through the chest good job take a nice deep inhale here and relax the shoulders down the back go ahead and step your feet wider than your hips sinking it low let's do some cat cow here standing this is really good for the spine so you're going to exhale round the spine hollow out that belly Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. And inhale, find that extension. Good work. One more. And round, rolling it up. One vertebrae at a time. Good work. You've just completed a standing bar inspired workout though you don't need a bar you just need a waist high surface if you need something to uh, use for balance and really just one weight so very simple setup to just get your workout in and get it done i hope you have a great day and you'll join us again soon